Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Juan Morales, Senior Staff Field Application Engineer for Smart HQ Service here at GE Appliances. In this video, we will demonstrate how to utilize the Smart HQ Service app to help you diagnose one of the most common dishwasher complaints, wet dishes. What we have here is a GE Profile dishwasher and the customer is stating that regardless of the cycle selection, the dishes never fully dry. In this case, it is possible that we may not have adequate heat or air circulation and you may need to check the heater and door fan for proper operation. Now, typically, a service technician would enter test mode by pressing a series of keys on the user interface. However, this method is often difficult because it will require you to memorize each product's individual key code sequence. But with Smart HQ service, entering service mode is simple and activating individual components is as easy as turning on a light switch. The first thing you'll need to do is connect your Bluetooth module to the dishwasher's Ethernet port located behind the tow kick plate. Take a look! Now, open the Smart HQ service app and in moments, your device will connect to the appliance. You can now view product information, recent bulletins, service manuals, and more. As you can see, connecting Smart HQ service to the appliance is extremely simple. And don't forget, this app works with both Android and iOS devices, which means you don't have to go out there and purchase additional hardware. Now, let's test the heater and door fan using the Operate Loads feature. From the dashboard screen, click Next and select Operate Loads. Enter Service Mode and select Operate Loads. Fill the cavity by pressing the Water Valve Test key. The water valve will run for approximately one minute. Next, activate the heater by pressing the Water Heater Test key. Allow the heater to run for about a minute. Then, splash some water onto it. You should see it sizzle, indicating the heater is working. Next, let's activate the door fan by pressing the door fan test key. Place your hand near the fan and you should feel some air movement. You should also hear the fan running. Testing these components individually is great, but now let's conduct a thorough test of the heater subsystem to verify all related components are working. To run this test, click Next and select Diagnostic Tests. Enter Service Mode and click Heater Test. Next, press the Start key and the drain pump motor will run for approximately one minute. This will ensure the dishwasher cavity is completely empty. The status column will indicate the initial temperature value the thermistor is detecting. Please take note of what this initial value is so you can see if there's a change in temperature later on. Once the drain pump stops, the water valve will be activated. While the unit fills, let's open up the watch box so we can monitor other components. By looking at the temperature, turbidity, and water pressure sensor values, we can determine if these components are operating correctly. A rise in temperature indicates the thermistor is detecting hot water coming into the unit. The turbidity value tells us that the water is relatively clear. And lastly, a drop in pressure frequency confirms that water is indeed entering the unit. Once the fill is complete, the circulation pump will run, and as water comes out of the lower and upper spray arms, it will make contact with the heater. In a few minutes, we should begin to see a rise in temperature. As we can see, the temperature has gone up significantly, confirming that the heater is working correctly. 
In the event that the thermistor temperature value remained unchanged, there would be a very high probability that the issue is related to the heater. When the test is complete, the unit will automatically activate the drain pump. Alrighty my friends, and there you have it. With a few simple clicks, we were able to test every component that will ensure the dishes come out nice and dry. Elevate your level of service today by visiting smarthqservice.com or call 502-714-2029. Once again, my friends, thank you so much for watching. And remember that at GE Appliances, we are here to help and always here for you.